It's really hard to uh, take a look back for, you know, seem like 25 years. You know, I, I don't have enough time here to, uh, to probably talk about the Holocaust, what took place. It's really good to, to see, you know, some of the younger people here because, you know, some of the young people were just kids. They didn't know what was going on. We talk and we hear some of the other panelists that were here earlier talk about the next 25 years. What are we going to do? It's sort of scary. But I think the thing that gives, you know, myself and a lot of Anishinaabe people strength was the sunrise ceremonies. Our elders. I'd like to just maybe something that people are forgetting and we shouldn't forget is I call the small people. People that didn't sit up here. People like the Triple Brothers. It's not easy. But we're told we're here. We're doing a good thing. And we're going to succeed. Some of the old people said, it's good to do this. It help clears your mind. It helps with therapy. And it brings reality to the table. You heard people talk about, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful or sound racist, but what the white man has done to us as Anishinaabe people. All the way back to when our grandmas were here. And the grandmas that are here today. We're told by the spiritual leaders that we're only here for a short time. And we got to do what we got to do. And sometimes we make some people mad. I want to say chibi guchka, you know, first of all, waswaginin, all those ogichida, those people that made it happen, they're back home, they should be here, I thought they would be here in numbers, but I want to say miigwechka, miigwechka Joe. One of our elders in our community that sustained all that also. Very intelligent man. We've got a lot of good people in our communities. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here today. The commission wouldn't exist. My good friends on the left here wouldn't be here. I probably would never get to know them. So something good came out of that in that sense. I say it's really hard to talk about what our peoples went through. Today we have the young people saying why. 25 years ago we were saying why. You know, why are these rednecks wanting to do the things they want to do to not only myself, to our women, the effigies, you have to be there to feel that. People, I can tell you this.
It wasn't easy to be an Indian. And it's still not today. <laughs>